what a start to 2020. It's hard to believe where we all find ourselves today. As business leaders, most of us will need to tune up to survive and even pivot to thrive in this extraordinary time. I'm seeing inspiring examples of innovation pop up all around the world at the moment. Businesses and brands tapping into the innovation potential of their people. Look at LVMH, repurposing their perfume factories to make hand sanitizer. And clothing giant Hanes, retraining their sewers to make medical grade protective equipment for those vital frontline healthcare workers. And credit card provider Visa, flipping their otherwise wasted Olympic advertising inventory into a series of public service announcements, featuring homemade videos from athletes sharing hand washing and social distancing tips. There's also a bunch of clever generosity happening too, like Disney Plus offering the movie Frozen 2 early and for free for all those housebound families out there. More locally, Origin Energy. They've launched a new service that offers their energy and their broadband business together in one stream and gives you free credit as a customer. Even Chris Hemsworth is giving away six weeks free of charge on his fitness app to help all those people who can't get to their local gym due to the current restrictions. All these ideas are good for business, they're great for your brand, and they're game-changing for the community. And there are three things you need to implement in order to hardwire this kind of mindset and behavior into your organization's culture. And these ideas are relevant now for obvious reasons, but they will also set your business up for some longer term success well after COVID-19 is behind us. So let's go through them. Idea number one, think like entrepreneurs. Idea two, opportunity through generosity. And idea three, repurpose your strengths. So the first idea, it's around giving your team permission to think like entrepreneurs. Now, I know this will feel uncomfortable for some business leaders because entrepreneurial thinking inevitably makes room for risk. The key here is to do measured tests and to learn quickly from your mistakes. Start by bringing unusual people together to work in teams. You'll be surprised by the diversity of thinking that comes out when you pair a finance person with a product person, or HR people with salespeople. We all have the opportunity to set new rules and establish our own new normal. And it's the perfect time to break a few of those old bad habits and get all of your people thinking like entrepreneurs together. The second idea is about connecting your business to opportunity through generosity. This is about getting your teams to figure out ways in which your product or service can play a positive role in the lives of everyday people, regardless of whether they're a current customer or not. The key is to get your people thinking about what your customers really want right now and what your business can authentically offer them. It can't just be about sales. Giving something away that's highly relevant and helpful now will build loyalty and your customer base for the future. In times of crisis, it's instinctual to try and frantically do everything, right? There's a lot to be done right now, and I get it, we all want to help. But that doesn't mean you need to start a charity. The third and final idea is about repurposing your strengths instead of trying to create something new and separate in order to help. Why don't you apply the brilliance of your existing business to the emerging community problems around you? Start by asking yourself, what would need to be true about your business in order to do X for the community? Now, if you're a hotel brand, maybe X is about providing temporary housing for those who get displaced after losing their job. Or if you're a rental car business, maybe your X is about providing rides for hospital workers who have to work the night shift. So to recap, first, give your team the permission to think like entrepreneurs and then build the structure around them. Second, encourage your people to find opportunity through generosity and give your customers what they really want now because they'll stick around long after COVID-19 is gone. And third and final, repurpose the brilliance of your business to make a meaningful difference in your community. If you found these ideas relevant and interesting, I'd really love to hear from you. 
please get in touch and I'll share more of the details behind our thinking with you. Thanks for watching.